this is another installment of What's on Shane's Brain? Brought to you by Muhammad. Thanks, Muhammad. Today I wanted to talk about the unrest in the Middle East recently, but I found I couldn't record anything without cursing. So I decided to let this really good explanation by Greg Gutfeld from The Five on Fox News explain the whole thing. It's pretty much how I feel. Muslim unrest in the Middle East is like chance of showers in Tampa. It's constant and similar importance to most Americans. What we never see, American outrage. We're just too nice. I don't count Occupy Wall Street. That's just <laughs> outrage against America, which most of us find about as sympathetic as Casey Anthony. They only march against American injustice, not injustice against America. So what will it take to spark real American outrage? At what point do we outgrow this self-hating neurosis and overcome the paralysis of analysis? What point do we grow beyond the liberal fetish for root causes? Even 9-11 didn't spark violence. The media expected a backlash. Instead, we grieved. We aren't show-offs. So how do you shake the extremism out of the extremist? With rage. That's their language. A cop buddy told me that when someone starts bothering you and you can't get away from them, act crazy too. <laughs> Out crazy the crazy. The same works for countries. My solution? Build a town. Since we have no footage of civilized Yanks acting angry, we don't wreck stuff except after Super Bowls, why not create a place where we can break and burn things, a giant set that we torch every few months? We could call it Outrage City, not to be confused with <laughs> Oakland. And we broadcast this fake riot to the angry Middle East whenever they tick us off. Maybe if the Egyptians see that, they'll say to themselves, ah, the U.S., they're just like us. Of course, they may also say, uh-oh, they look pretty mad. Maybe our only common language is senseless outrage, making this outrage outreach. So let's start Crazy Town now, and I'll run the yoga center. And there's the masterful spin by the press secretary, Jay Carney. This is a fairly volatile situation, and it is in response not to United States policy, uh, not to, obviously, the administration, not to the American people. It is in response to a video that in no way justifies any violent reaction to it. Uh, but this is not a case of uh, protests directed at the United States uh, writ large or at U.S. policy. It's time to wake up, America.